At the hospital, Jordan and Stella go into an office to privately talk about the genealogy tests. Stella knows Jordan was oddly interested in her own DNA test, which had a glitch and indicated she had a relative in town. Stella asks if she's still thinking she has a secret love child in Port Charles. Suddenly, Stella realizes Jordan suspects someone else had a secret child. Jordan explains she and TJ found it odd she had a match that suddenly disappeared. Jordan explains that could only happen according to the company if the other person withdrew their DNA from the service. Stella stammers that Trina told her she deleted her account and asks if Jordan is telling her that she thinks Curtis and Portia are related. Jordan assures Stella that Curtis and Portia are not related. Confused, Stella still doesn't understand what this is about. Suddenly, Stella connects the dots that Curtis, not Taggart, is Trina's father. Stella doesn't know why Curtis didn't tell her and immediately realizes he doesn't know. Jordan says even Trina doesn't know, and she urged Portia to tell Curtis the truth. Stella asks Jordan if she's going to tell Curtis. Jordan explains it's not her business to tell. Stella snaps, if you won't tell him, I will. Jordan insists this is something Curtis needs to hear from Portia, and right now it's an unproven theory. She also says if they are wrong, Curtis will perceive this as meddling. Stella insists they find out whether Trina is Curtis' daughter, then because she will not officiate this wedding without Curtis knowing the truth. Elsewhere, Austin preps Michael for going into the oar to be there with Willow. Seeing Michael nervous, the doctor asks if he could join him in. Austin and Michael enter the oar along with the anesthesiologist who explains the pain block to Willow. Dr. Navarro soon arrives and asks if they are ready to meet their daughter. Dr. Navarro delivers the baby, who cries out. Michael tells Willow that he told her it would work out. Liz asks if she has a name picked out, but Willow says not yet. The doctors get the baby to the NICU, and Willow asks Michael to go with her so she's not alone. As the team works to close Willow up, she asks if Michael is with Jonah yet. Dr. Navarro thought they didn't have a name picked out. When Willow continues to mumble about Jonah, the doctor figures something is wrong. She asks Willow the date, and Willow answers, the 4th of July. Suddenly, her blood pressure drops. Trina runs into Joss in the halls, and Joss asks why Trina is there. Trina explains it's Brit's memorial today, and she's supporting Spencer. Trina wishes she was there to support Joss through her breakup. Joss asks how she found out. Trinan explains Cam told her, but not too much about it because he was hurting. She knows Joss was trying hard to make it work, but she must have felt the connection was gone. Trina admits Spencer thinks there is more to the breakup than growing apart. Joss states he's not wrong. Trina asks if Joss and Cam will be able to stay friends. Joss would like it, but that's up to Cam. Joss gets a text that Willow's about to have the baby, so she has to go. Joss asks Trina to let Spencer know how sorry she is about Brit. Spencer is the first to arrive at the chapel for Brit's memorial. Ava stops by to quickly see him about their last conversation. Ava asks if he told Trina his plans, and he says he did, and she is supporting him, but has reservations. He calls Trina a good friend, and she will be meeting him here shortly. Ava offers to help him increase his odds of winning without having to step foot in a courtroom. Ava holds up a piece of paper, something Nicholas doesn't want coming to light, and calls it the dynamit that will clear all obstacles in his path. Ava explains there is a web address on the paper where he'll find a video that will give him power over his father. She warns him that he won't be able to unsee this, and that using this will make his father his enemy. Spencer takes the paper and thanks her. Suddenly, Trina enters and wonders what is going on.